All right, so we shall start with the determinant. Let's say you've been given a matrix like the one we have here. Matrix A is equal to A, B, C, D. And they want you to find a determinant. So to find a determinant, we copy the matrix and we put the bars like this. Okay? Equal to, we change the major diagonal. We multiply the major diagonal minus multiplication of the minor diagonal. So when we say major diagonal, we are talking about this diagonal here. Minor diagonal, it's this one. So it will be A times D minus C times a B. Like that. Here we are getting A D minus C B. This is our determinant. Okay. So let's try to do an example and see what we're talking about on the determinant. Alright, so we are here on example number one. So for example number one, we've been asked to find the determinant of matrix M. So what is the determinant? How do we find the determinant? So if you are able to remember what I said, I said you first copy the letter that is a representing the determinant. So in this case, it's M and then put the bars, put it inside the bars. These bars, they mean determinant. And then you start multiplying the major diagon minus multiplication of the minor diagon. So that will be a 2 times a 5 minus 3 times negative 4. Remember to put this entry inside the brackets. We know that brackets, they mean multiplication. Okay? So putting it inside the brackets, or the reason why we are putting it inside the brackets, it's because it has got a negative sign. So when we work out here, we're getting a 10, of course, minus negative 12. Because 3 times negative 4, it's a negative 12. From this stage, we work out nicely. We shall have something like this. 10 plus 12. Negative and negative, we're getting a positive, which is equal to a 22. So the determinant is equal to 22. That is of this matrix. Let's go to example number two. After example number two, we'll do example number three and answer the exam question. So make sure I watch the video up to the end. We're now on example number two. So example number two, we've been given the matrix, which is over here, and also the determinant of this matrix, which is 22. So we need to find the value of x. So let's copy the matrix. That is p is equal to 2, negative 4, 3, x. So this is the matrix that we, we are dealing with. And we've got the determinant, which is 22. So we know that when finding the determinant, we multiply the major diagon minus the multiplication of the minor diagon. So that will be um, 2 times x. So let's write 2 times x minus 3 times negative 4. Okay, we're there. And we know that this is the procedure. This is the method that we use when finding the, the determinant. So we shall say equal to a 22. Because when we multiply this, minus the multiplication of this, it must give us the determinant. Now, in this case, we have been given the determinant to be equal to 22. So we write it over here. Okay? So the next thing will just be to simplify. We have 2x uh, minus negative 12 is equal to 22. So 2x plus a 12 is equal to a 22. So negative and negative, we're getting a positive, okay? So here, 
To solve for x, we group the like terms. We shall have a 22 minus a 12. So 2x is equal to uh, a 10. Because we know that 22 minus 12, we are getting a 10. So what do we do next? We divide by a 2 by a 2. So this side, 2 and 2 cancel. We shall remain with x, which is equal to 2 into 2, 1 into 10. It's a, a 5. So the value of x is equal to a 5. All right. So for example number 3, to find the, the inverse of this matrix, we first need to denote it like this. We have P, this is matrix P, so we say P power negative 1. Negative 1, it being a power, it means inverse will be equal to 1 over the determinant of this. So the determinant of this matrix, we know that it's a 22 in our previous example. So the determinant is 22. It will be 1 over 22 okay and then this you find what we call a joint so this will switch the positions so the number that is here comes or goes there and what is here comes here so this is how it will look like for the minor diagon you only change the signs you see we have a three it's now negative three for negative 4, it will be positive 4. So you can leave your answer like this or you simplify it further. So this is how you deal with the, the inverse and the determinant or the determinant and the inverse. Okay, so for more, 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 more video and more work, if you are writing GCE, we offer online tuitions. This is the number that you can WhatsApp. Okay, and if you have not yet joined our online classes, what is it that you are waiting for? Your friends are, are learning and they are almost ready to write their final exams, GC exams. So make sure you WhatsApp this number or call to be able to be added to the online classes so that you start learning with everybody in the group. We have created WhatsApp groups where we teach different subjects. So let me just list the subjects that we offer. We've got uh, English. Okay, we've got English. We've got uh, Science. We've got uh, Biology. We've got uh, RE. We've got uh, Civic Education. We've got uh, Commerce. We've got uh, mathematics and additional mathematics so just whatsapp this number will be able to guide you on what you're supposed to do all right so for the exam question kindly watch the next video where i'll be answering 2022 um, exam question on this topic that's from the paper 2 2022 internal bye-bye